and we are live food court the movie podcast and twitch stream where sean and michael watch it talk shit and most importantly eat shit we are the law yes we are and michael you know not just any law the galactic federation <laughs> of independence <laughs> united we space. are space bucks <laughs> law are, we are this we are on film we are great people. that will be 50 space bucks please <laughs> 50 space bucks if you even mention us you're going to jail space jail <laughs> oh no i can't believe you came to space with me and we're in space my stars we're up in my stars. British space I don't I think I can't believe we're here. You just pointed out a huge flaw with this whole series. Um yes. is that C three PO has never said my stars. There He has never said it. In space, and he's never yeah. once said my stars. <laughs> what in the fuck is going on? Yeah. <laughs> this is weird. This is fucking this weird. This is weird wild stuff. This is, I would love if he had a he dropped a, a fuck every now and again. Yeah. That'd be great. R2, what the fuck are you doing? R2, why the fuck is my arm red? <laughs> is this some kind of, is this a prequel or a sequel? I've lost I track. I don't remember who don't, I am. And, and I don't care. I don't care anymore. If I found out, I would be so sad to find. Okay, we watched <laughs> Star Wars A New Hope. Let's get that out of the way. That's important get to that know. Get the hell out of the way. we watch the feature film. Star Wars A New Hope from 1977. Absolutely. 77? 70. Okay, you say 77, I'll say 76. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'll say 74. Yeah, what the hell? Say every year. We're making shit up. Yeah, we might as well might go as well. for it. <laughs> Man, this movie was way ahead of his time. It was made in 1932. <laughs> yeah, Can you believe crazy. they had, I mean, most movies weren't in color. Yeah. Even, and they had color <laughs> and its main competition was that train film where like every the audience they scattered because they thought the train was gonna what a bunch of idiots <laughs> by the <Yeah>. way <laughs> it's on a screen dummies <laughs> <laughs> uh it's technology yeah have you heard of it yeah. that was r2 <laughs> what's <laughs> that <laughs> I love the the sad. What the what the what the I don't know which one that is, but Food that's one court. of them. Movie podcast. Yeah, I, I don't. Food court. <laughs> I was space Brooklyn. I'm from space Brooklyn. Space Brooklyn. Which I have to be honest, regular Brook Brooklyn is space Brooklyn if you think about it, because bunch of weirdos living there. <laughs> <laughs> bunch of weird fucking looking. glasses wearing book reading Greedo looking Greedo is that his name Greedo 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 shot first Greedo hey what if we have a bounty hunter name he's like greedy <laughs> we call him Greedo call him Greedo <laughs> man thank God you brought this up because I need to talk about um really the cruelest one of the cruelest character names <laughs> yes. in movie history. Uh -huh. There is a pilot. He is um, what in the old days we would call a fat fuck. <laughs> um, these days we would call him beautiful, regular size guy. Yeah. Um, but back then he was fat. And his character name is Porkins. Oh my gosh, I didn't his even realize. His character name is fucking Porkins. Porkins. Pork At one point somebody goes, wow. cover me, Porkins. Cover and then they cut <laughs> to poor Porkins. And he's like, oh man. <laughs> That sounds I, like I sure hope this movie gets really famous so <laughs> yeah. I get big checks or yeah. else this is cruel. I bet even side characters like that are just like set. Probably, oh, right? I Michael. <laughs> I did a a Porkins Google search oh. and it immediately came up with a hot topic t shirt that had Porkins head <laughs> and it said Star Wars <laughs> underneath it. So he That's must be great. making loads of money. Well I don't I, know. Do you they own your image and then they don't mm, care how much maybe it depends on what he did like i guess if he signed off his face then oh, no. they just have it forever but oh, i don't know porkins. that's a good yeah porkins. <laughs> why but i have a way of him making even more money it's a shirt where on the front it says pork ends <laughs> and on the back it says porks <laughs> pork out pork out <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know. I Maybe don't know. it's like the front of his head and the back of his head. Yeah, that would be great. Or it's butt. It's a picture it's of his butt. butt. Yeah. Pork <laughs> outs and there's like a fart. Pork butt. Like a little fart bubble <laughs> that says Pork fart. Pork outs. Um, um, we watched Star Wars <laughs> Episode 4, A New Hope. But mm-hmm. before we talk about that, yes. you must talk about <gasps> the feature film that we saw in the movie theaters. Yes. If you are not prepared to go to the movie theaters if you're not vaccinated yet or if you're uncomfortable please don't yeah <laughs> but i i totally understand because before mm-hmm. I, like just a month ago i was terrified and i did not go even though it's the only thing that gives my life meaning yeah exactly and i'm glad i did because i was pretty worried i had i wasn't doing like anything like that and then i was like okay i've been shot up i better yeah get back out there i'm yeah gotta get back out there and i'm glad i did and that means, you know, it's time for the theme song. Ding, 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 ding. Here comes the Panda Express <laughs> taking us to the movies we watched this week dun, 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 in theaters. That's pretty That's good. That's a really good theme song. <laughs> Could you play that for me one more time? Yeah, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Here comes the Panda Express. <laughs> dun, let's talk about the movies we saw in theaters this week. Ding, wow. Ding, ding. It's like jazz. It you know, is it's, like jazz. It's the same thing, but it's like you know, it's it's the notes space between the notes. It's, it's really good. And that, what a the space we were talking about a space movie. So eventually, eventually. First, <laughs> first we've got to talk about Wrath of Star Trek Two: Wrath of Man. Man we yeah. watched we watched the new Guy Ritchie movie. Yes, and we we speak about it now only to recommend it to you please if, if you feel strong and you feel powerful and you want to go to the theater theater that's fine and if you feel nervous put it on your list yeah or later or if you don't believe that there is yes <laughs> yes if you feel like it is fake and you haven't cared the whole fucking time that's fine then go to the movie Keep theater going. check it out it actually probably of all people it is the perfect movie for you because yeah. it is like kind of dumb but it's brutal yeah <laughs> Which is what you are. It's on, fair Mark, on brand on that. That's pretty good, yeah. What this film is, <laughs> is Guy Ritchie and Jason Statham, and together uh, they they came together to make a movie yes. whose script is at times <laughs> somewhat unbearable. Unbearable. Um, it's ridiculous. Yeah, with people like Johnny the Scuzz. You're like, yes. what the fuck are you even talking about? Sleepy uh, Frank. <laughs> Sleepy uh, uh, Seven leg uh, Tim. Stinky Bo. Stinky Bo, yes. <laughs> um, but and, and it what also, it lacked. Oh, oh, what it didn't no. lack is lines from straight out of like 80s and 90s, like a woman seeing a man going, Huh, who let this girl in? <laughs> yes. Yes. It's like, what? It has that vibe. Um, but what it lacks in that department of being kind of a ridiculous script, <laughs> it makes up for in in, in um, the department of people getting brutally murdered yes. in totally badass ways <laughs> and just completely, perfectly made action sequences. Oh, yeah. They're really good just beautiful the editing is awesome it's really good the violence is uh sort of sickening like it is <laughs> rough violence like I people loved it. people get shot and it's weird because it's not graphic necessarily no, yeah. you don't see blood and guts like you see a few mm-hmm. blood if you see like blood coming out of people's heads and a few like little <laughs> shoots <laughs> but it's not like gore no yeah but it is just quick it's Quick. efficient, and it is it... cold blooded. Oh yeah, it was very cold. So very. if you are, if you want a maybe more vicious, mm. uh, much dumber version <laughs> of a Michael Mann movie, like if you want heat except dumber <laughs> and faster, yeah, this is the perfect mover for you because mm. it's exactly that. It's wild. I would say that's a very good assessment of it. Thank you. And it's a great revenge flick. Very it fun. It's really good. <laughs> yeah. Once, and once it gets it, going, I'll say yes. that. You're like, it, what is this? <laughs> you have to give it, I think maybe you just have to get used to it. Yeah. <laughs> like I saw it a second time and once I was already knew what I was going in for. Mm-hmm. Once you know, like, this is just kind of fucking weird. <laughs> yeah. Like it's. 
it is a movie out of time. Mm-hmm. It is sort of a throwback yeah, to a yeah. thing that never existed in the first place. <laughs> exactly. kind of. But once you get into that, mm-hmm. and you get into the strong suit of the movie, which is cold-blooded shit. Yes. You'll love it. And also, then you're in. <laughs> this is very important. Don't watch the trailer. Oh, yeah, no. The trailer gives away, like, late second act reveals. It's weird, yeah. Don't watch the trailer. I mean... <sighs> It, it won't ruin the movie, but if you go in knowing nothing, <laughs> this movie's gonna kick your fucking ass. I love it. That's what I've been loving lately. Just nothing, no nothing. I, I no shit. I did see this trailer because I was in the theater and it came on. Yeah. But from now on, I'm just gonna close my eyes. Yeah. Put my fingers yeah. in my ears and go. I'm not watching any of this. I'm not hearing la, any la, of la, it. La, 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 out loud yeah, in the yeah. theater. Go la 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 la. la I'm la, not la. listening. I'm not listening. <laughs> what was that? Did you did you hear something? <laughs> <laughs> Just yelling at the screen. Yeah. I can't hear you. Whoops. Sorry. We also watched Star Wars Episode Four. Oh. A new. Oh. I have bad news. What? I watched a movie in the theater as well. What did you watch? <laughs> so I, like John Burr, former co-host of Food Court. <laughs> 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 Now fired. Now fired and dead. He, um, <laughs> we fired him and then we killed him. And <laughs> That's what happens yeah. when you fuck us over, yeah. man. We're actually, and we're cooking them up right now, so. Whoa, that's cool. <laughs> Sorry. On the Google Meet, um, <laughs> Rick Moranis' head is, like, bleeding through Sean's water bottle. Anyway, that distracted me. Um, uh, <laughs> Former, uh oh, John is in the chat, and also he said, "Suck, suck your own dicks," which is the best line of, um, "Breath uh, of Man." Breath of, oh, they said, "Breath of Man." Breath of Man. That sounds breath like a Christian man. remake. That's. Breath of man. I think that's the sequel to "Call Me by Your Name," the Breath of Man. Ah, mm. mm. Bitches of man. It's just no. <laughs> um. Anyways, John loves this anime called Demon Slayer, and then he got me into it, so I binged oh, it no. in a week. Because that movie was out, and I went to see it at 10 p.m. What? The time the theater closed at this random-ass theater, like, 15 miles away, because the other, all the other times were over, and I was like, i got to see what? it. This was a crazy, out-of-character thing. I just went and did it. I got what? popcorn, what? and I sat in that theater. I was the, There was one other person, <laughs> nice. and I watched this Japanese subtitled anime movie. But what I didn't expect... I expected to have a fun time, and I did. But the last maybe quarter of the movie, it shifts completely and became one of the most intensely emotional experiences of my life. What? It was so insane. And then I don't know what happened. I was walking to my car in silence. The other person was also silent because it was the heaviest ending I've ever seen. And then I got in my car. And I do not, I'm not joking, Sean, from the time I got in my car to the time I arrived at my house, I sobbed loudly, like full tears streaming. I was like, like oh, oh, because I couldn't believe how unfair the ending was oh, no. and how brutal it was and how much it reminded me of like real life. And I was like, holy shit. Like, it was just crazy. So that happened to me this week. Do I need to watch this movie? Maybe. And the show's great, too. Do I have to watch the show first and then the movie? Yeah, unfortunately. Ah, Yeah. (laughs) Well, I'll just never see this movie. Sorry. Sorry. I can't can't watch a whole show. Yeah. No way. (laughs) It's no no time in the world. (laughs) How can I watch a whole show? Yeah. Well, check those out. Check out Wrath of Man. Anyway, And check out Demon Slayer. What is the Mugen Train. Mugen, check out Demon Slayer. This Mugen train, train is Mugen. <laughs> this train uh, was Mugen. made for Mugen. Um, I, and John did say it's transcendent, and we are going again tomorrow. So, oh, he's not even in town. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Um, anyway, so okay. more importantly, we're already one quarter of the way through the show. Right. We should maybe talk about the movie we saw for the show. Yeah. Called Star Wars Episode Four: Ooh. A New Hope. The plot, you know it. We all know it. Everyone has seen this movie. <laughs> Even if you haven't seen this movie, you've seen every scene in this movie, uh, referenced yeah. in seventeen other movies, mm-hmm. or uh, parodied. <laughs> yes. Uh, 
Um, or you've seen it in some commercial. Sure. Where, I don't know, fucking Princess Leia's eating a Mentos or some shit. <laughs> Um, but what happens is uh, there's a rebel <laughs> alliance, mm -hmm. and there's a young boy, and he's good at at a s laser sword. <laughs> and then there's a one guy, and he's a tough talking guy. And then they fight the tall guy in a black armor <laughs> suit, and and they try to defeat him because mm -hmm. he has a planet that shoots a laser. It does, and it can kill planets. And then um. You know the the talented boy. He can shoot real good, and he uses uh, magic mm -hmm. to shoot a small hole in the space hole. laser. <laughs> yeah, and then the space laser blows up, mm -hmm. and um, that's it. That's the whole movie, pretty much. I mean, I can't think of anything you missed. <laughs> Every in scene. That is what the movie is. Uh, but essence. more important than that, we must talk about the good things about this, this movie. movie. Okay, Michael, mm -hmm. I'd like to ask you. Yeah, what is your beef lamb euro of Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope? Okay, What's the best part. I'm just gonna lay it out for you, and it's gonna Please be do. simple. It happens at the very fucking beginning of this movie. <laughs> Is it the scroll? Hell you just no. love yellow letters. <laughs> that is cool. And I will say that they made an iconic thing. Good oh, yeah. for you. Especially but... when you see this movie in the theater and and there's and there's blamp. Yeah. yeah, there's a big blamp and you're like, what the fuck? <gasps> and then there's letters and you just see them going away for so long. Yeah, bye you're letters. Like, see ya. Bye. Hey, uh, don't forget to write. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget to write letters. That's good. Thank you. Um, yeah, it that part's crazy, but you're instantly brought into a world of magic because you are seeing spaceships flying in the sky, and they look completely real. And you're like, this yes. is great. Whoever yes. made this is a genius. So yes. the practicals, the practical effects, it's just incredible. You're like, man, they accomplished it, and it still works like even better than some stupid CG movies. Like, you're yes, like, dang. So they're beautiful. They're very beautiful, and they're. It's like the effects in this are so good that there is no need to dis to suspend your d disbelief. Yeah, exactly. You just look at it and you go, well, I guess that's an actual spaceship. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. If some. I guess there are flew off the coast of Hoth and they got the <laughs> damn That's spaceship it. They out. Did it. Yep. They got a mini spaceship and got a real big spaceship They're and they on location. put some film in the camera and shot it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're on location in space. <laughs> it's like amazing. Tom Cruise. I I and from everything, not even just the ships, like all of the like little the droids and stuff like everything's just so like intricately made i will say yeah. there's a couple characters in like the cantina that just look like halloween mask yeah, they're a little silly. like uh, i don't know there's one like devil man is just like hey. yeah i swear i saw a werewolf like just a, <laughs> there is a werewolf. werewolf i was like okay he's um, like oh he's got nards <laughs> yeah classic mm -hmm. um but it's beautifully done and you're just like yes. and i have to say like the whole idea of like futuristic but like dirty and used like yes. i lo they nail it so i, was, I just love that vibe yes so, I, that was like two euros but whatever <laughs> i mean this is an iconic film mm -hmm, mm -hmm. some would call it a classic some no <laughs> some, uh, some and um we're probably gonna say a lot of positive things about yeah, it i would guess i would think may i go next please after or, you and okay then we'll here, go to here the kill donkey Oh, do they have ideas already? Oh yeah, the the donks. The donks have gyros, but you well, go first. And then... Donks, let me <laughs> lead the way. Um, there's a moment when uh, Han and Luke have locked themselves in a little room, mm -hmm. and there's people shooting on the other side of the door, and Han uh, gets a call on on his little. <laughs> Space phone <laughs> and they're like hey what's going on in there what are you guys doing and he like goes into like kind of um telecommunications voice or something yeah. like he goes into 
like he does code switch from Han Solo into like a guy uh-huh. trying to sell you insurance yeah, or something. It's really He's good. like, we're uh, we're all fine now, thank you. Uh, uh how are you? Yeah, that, that that how are you is so how funny. Are you is amazing. <laughs> and then later he shoots the thing and he says, "Boring, boring conversation anyway." <laughs> yeah. And that part is wonderful. Yeah. Where where it sh- shines in those moments, like it's great. Those moments of humor are so beautiful. Yeah, it's. It's so hard, especially nowadays. We're like so saturated with like every action movie is just trying to do a joke every two seconds. Oh my like, god! Yes, everything's Deadpool. Just stop. Yeah, it, it's tough. Everything's Deadpool. Everything's Kano. <laughs> everything's like, yes. please. Everything's coming up Kano these days. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I love that part. I laughed out loud. I was like, oh, I forgot that he does that. It's so funny, it's and so, the voice is so good. Yeah, he. Go, it's a totally like different, like almost like more feminine, like yeah, <laughs> sweet. It's hey, really how's good. it going there? What's going? On? <laughs> it's like he's a Fargo character or something. Yeah. <laughs> We're all fine here now. Thank you. How are you? How are you? How are you? Yeah, the how are you? And then they're like, who is this? <laughs> who is this? What's going on in there? What are y'all doing? It's are, you, are you guys starting shit or something? Oh, definitely. Are you guys part of the Rebel Alliance? Are you are you two to three, two people in one Wookiee <laughs> yeah. trying to save the princess <laughs> from uh, the clutches of the evil Darth Vader? I mean, I guess we're it's not, not evil, evil to us. Yeah. We think he's we think he's great. He's awesome, Darth Vader. Is that what you're trying to do? <laughs> I think that's what they're trying to do. <laughs> it seems like it to me. I watched the movie, and I, that would probably be my best guess. From what I what I saw, yeah, it seemed like they were doing oh, that. <laughs> okay, I agree. Um, okay, okay, kill donkey, chat. Drop the donks on me. Donk, King Donk said that they <laughs> loved when the eyeball pops up in the trash compactor and looks around yes. and ducks back down. Oh boy, <laughs> that's a good little that's bit. That's a really good bit. I love that little. Guy. And bumming down said we cannot ignore how hashtag fucking awesome the sand people are. And they're pretty cool. They're like they Ooh. are scary. They're very scary. And it's one of the I think in a movie that is not scary ever. <laughs> yeah. It's like the only legitimate scare in the movie yeah. is like he's looking through uh his space goggles. Yeah. I don't know what he's looking through. He's got um what is, what is this thing that called that he looks through? Periscope? No. No. What is the word? Binoculars. Yeah, the, he's got binoculars, but they are like yeah, special S- robo special, binoculars. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, and um, through the binoculars, he sees like an entire human form really yeah. close to him, and he's like, Burr! <laughs> and you're like, oh shit, Holy. yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> what if he had said that? <laughs> fuck. Uh, and there's banthas. Oh, I like those banthas where it, I think it's just an elephant with a hat on it, <laughs> right? It kind of looks like an elephant with the hat on <laughs> it, but those great. are great. Do you think they got real elephants? Or were they what if robots? they got real? Those were real banthas, actually. It's yeah. the same. It's all on location, <laughs> using real animals. Yeah. From wait, where is it? Dagobah? Is that where, is that where he is? Tatooine. Tatooine. No way. Yeah. Right. I, I have don't no remember. idea. I wish I knew. <laughs> we I'm are, sorry. We're not qualified to talk about this. We are actually because we are we are speaking for the common man. Yeah, we are. Not some fucking dweeb. Mm-mm. Not some, some fucking fool. nerd. We're real men. <laughs> We're real movie men. Oh, bumming down confirmed. Tatooine, yes. Tatooine. You uh, nailed it. I got it. What a smart boy. Tatooine. Okay, I got a few more things. Mm-hmm. If the donks got more, they can drop them on oh, us. Oh, yeah, let us know. If if you are in the chat and you're wanting to tell us, let us know. But yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm got. I'm going to give you one more, and then you give me one more. Okay, okay Michael? Okay. Here goes. Uh, early on, um, R2 gets electrocuted by a Jawa, <laughs> which is great. It makes a good noise. Yeah. And he goes kind of, <laughs> which is great. Mm-hmm. But there, he falls over. <laughs> yes. And just like does like a dead R2 fall. Yes. And there's like a really good like crash, like <laughs> thud sound yeah. effect when he goes down. And it's just the perfect sound effect. It's just, so good. <laughs> I was and, eyeing that exact euro in my notes. Oh my God. I was like, that is so, that part was so funny. It's so good. And I mean, there's, there's a few sa- sound effects. There's mm-hmm. like one where like Luke gets thrown to the ground and there's like a stock 
like I've heard this sound effect before kind of sound effect. <laughs> yeah. So for this like R two sound effect to be so exemplary is like <laughs> yeah. a real a real moment. It's, it's really wonderful. really well done. It cracked Thank me you. up. I went wow, that's a euro for sure. I instantly picked up my phone and went type type type. That's a euro. Kink. Yep. <laughs> tell me more. Tell me more euros, Michael, please. Um, this one's a kind of a cheap one, but I wow. love. I just love the scene because you haven't seen much force stuff in the movie by this point, yes. and then that guy's like bad mouthing Darth Vader, and yes. then he does the whole choke thing, and yes. it's just a great that whole delivery. Like I find your lack of faith disturbing. It's just a really well that the whole performance is great. So, yeah, I was like, that's a good scene. That's just good. It's <laughs> it's good, and what does it say to us about faith? And what does it say to us about being choked? It's not comfortable at all. It's not good. Unless that's your thing, but it's not. I've never, li- I don't like people touching my neck. <laughs> I I don't like people touching with their hands. Yeah, don't touch if, me. If somebody, like, puts their elbow, just, like, gives me a hard elbow <laughs> to the throat, yeah. that's fine. <laughs> yeah. More! But I don't want to feel the these digits. No, I don't want to. Caressing. Sometimes, like you can feel like their fingerprints. Yikes! Then I don't like that. I'd rather die. This is another force <laughs> moment that I quite love. Uh-huh. And this is the whole opposite end of the force. The force being used for good. Um, they have arrived, uh, in the parking lot for the mm-hmm. Moss Eisley Cantina. Yes. And um, there's some stormtroopers, and you know what? Uh. They won't let people in the parking lot unless Rude. they are VIPs. <laughs> uh, so they're like, "All right, what's going on there? What are you doing? Hey there! What, hey, mm-hmm. excuse me. You you look exactly like the person we're looking for. Mm-hmm. There, there's the exact amount of droids, and there's an old man and a young <laughs> kind of whiny boy. Uh huh. Uh-huh. I think you are the exact people we are looking for. <laughs> and and uh, old Ben Kenobi, he's like. Uh, you're not lucky for us. <laughs> yeah. Actually, you don't even look for things. You've never looked for a thing before. And uh, just because you're in the sand, you have like a kind of a orange thing that you have over <laughs> yeah. your arm. You don't wear that anymore. Yeah. We, we don't know why you have it. <laughs> That's funny. And then right at the end, he goes, he goes, uh, move along. Yeah. And then they go, uh, uh, move, move along, move along. <laughs> move along. <laughs> it's really good. Yeah, it's beautiful. And that, that's another yeah. funny moment, too. It's just like, it's, yeah. at first it is magic, and you go, wow. oh, yeah, he's doing cool magic stuff. Cool. And then, like, it's a good little button on there. Mm. Move, along. Move, along. Move, along. move along, move along, move along. Yeah, then they get a little gag. They get a little gag in there. A little gag, which I, the most of the gags land in this movie, I'll say. Yes. It's rare that that happens in a big but yes. I don't even know how. I mean, this was a big budget, right? Even back yeah. then. Okay, good. I was like, has to be. But yes. one of my favorite bits that happened. Are you about to drop a bit on me? Oh, yeah. It's a Euro bit. Here's a bit of Euro. A piece of my Euro fell out. The lamb is on my table. I'm still eating it because it was that good, even though it's covered in germs. Uh, <laughs> it's when they're stuck in the trash compactor and then they finally get saved. Yes. And they're all yes. just like, yeah, yeah. Like yes. excited, celebrating, and then yeah. the CPU thinks they're dead, and he's like, "Those poor people," or like something like something yes. like that. Yes, I wrote down what he said. Yeah, please. Um, listen to them; they're dying. Yeah, that's so funny, <laughs> so amazing. It's like hilarious. I I loved it. It killed that, me. It's such a good bit. The whole lead up is so good too. Yeah, they're in this dirty. <laughs> like fucked up like i don't know how most of that trash got in how big are these trash shoes (laughs) yeah (laughs) because there's like fucking kitchen cabinets in there and shit there's like weird shit and just water (laughs) yes filled with water (laughs) yeah people just been pouring old drinks down (laughs) yeah like oh this tastes like shit which i do love i'll let you finish of course but no i do love the monotony like if you like not shown in the movie like people going about their work life like dumping things on the trash yes. like and chad ryden brings up that he likes that darth vader gets sucked into dumb meetings at work it is like this funny like if you take a step back you're like oh this is goofy yes <laughs> but it would whatever anyways go on go on no that's all i wanted to say oh, okay <laughs> well stop stop thank you thank you <laughs> um i yeah i that that 
C-3PO is the unsung hero of the Star yes. Wars movie. <laughs> the the C-3PO R2-D2 relationship. Oh, it's great. And to like risk, I don't even know if this one, did, did this one do good when it came out? I don't remember. Yeah, okay, did big, great. Big, um, big, big. Like to risk like for a good, what, like 15 minutes is just like about the droids. And you're, you're yes. like, that's crazy <laughs> to think that it's that weird. Could carry it's really it. yeah. weird. <laughs> it's funny. It's like, just oh. like two droids hanging out. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, this is weird. This is, huh? All right. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like... I'm very afraid of this. Did you weep? Yes. Well, of course. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's true. <laughs> Tell me more. Yeah. It's like you go to like a one man show where he's just talking to like a <laughs> box or something. <laughs> you know, I once, it cannot be repeated for the podcast, but yeah. I once did um, a bit that uh-huh. was uh, C3PO on acid. Oh, wow. <laughs> and, and I just played like weird C, I played like RT2, R2D2 voices mm-hmm. that were just like. <laughs> And looped them, and then went. Oh no, R two! I feel afraid. <laughs> What's going on? That's great. Nobody liked it. Oh, but I like that it. that doesn't mean it's not good. Just because no one who ever heard it, yeah, even liked it a little Once. bit, yeah, <laughs> doesn't mean that it's That's not quality. Great. That's a little known fact about um things. Yeah. About I, pieces of art. About pieces Just of because art. no one who's ever seen them <laughs> likes, likes it, them doesn't mean doesn't they're invaluable. Mean it's bad. That no, mean it's bad. I have many jokes that I did that people hated. They would even yes. say "boo, boo," and people I would say "boo" yeah, out loud. And I would go I, in my brain. I would hear "woo, woo" because I knew it was good deep down. I, I'm guessing <laughs> it was a lady, and you went, "No, ma'am." No, ma'am. <laughs> uh woo no. is what you meant to say <laughs> yeah that's... i think you meant to say woo to my joke yeah that's what i did say and so you went no i meant boo because it's bad and i went all right whatever Agreed that's a with, really good conversation yeah it was weird and it was i was on stage it was just a lot i was like oh yeah oh thanks <laughs> thanks for doing that that's the thing i miss most about stand-up is just hecklers getting interrupted in the middle of a joke that kind of i'm just excited to get back into that <laughs> hey soon enough soon enough <laughs> we'll, we'll all do it one day yeah anyways it- Yes. I'm sorry. I keep distracting us from the point, the thing at hand, which is... The thing at hand is the donk. Do they have anything else to say? What are yes. they love? Um, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. The sound effect when Obi-Wan is powering down the tractor beam always gives me a, tr- a, th- a thrill, is what Bumming Down said. I, I'm imagining... I don't remember it, but I'm imagining it's something like... Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I don't is remember. Is it the one that's like... <laughs> Oh, maybe. No, that's the one when the Millennium Falcon fails. Oh, that's squeak, a good squeak, one. Squeak, 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 squeak. And then um, they also said, I love that you learn very early how savage the Empire is because they've burned Luke's family. That is true. I was like, holy, yes. I forgot that they're just like, they're just skeletons yes. on fire. Yes, burning like, skeletons, uh, reminiscent of like the Buddhist monks burning themselves in v- yeah. Vietnam. It's like, holy heck. Yeah, it's fucked up. And, I mean, I gotta say, he recovered pretty quick. He's yeah, like, he <laughs> all right, let's get out It didn't here. bother him that much. He's like, oh, right. man. But darn it. <laughs> darn it, they're dead. Well, darn it. But, I mean, I guess they weren't my parents, so who really cares? But <laughs> but darn it, they Aww. really, they burned them alive, didn't they? Shoot. Shucks. Well, I guess, I, where, where were you, what did you want to do, Ben? Uh, yeah, I want to go on an adventure, yeah, sure. Okay. Okay, I'll go to adventure. Let's do. Can we go to a bar first? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I want to go to a space bar. Yes. And there's weirdos there. Ooh, I love weirdos and I love uh, bars as well. Not in real life. I'm saying that in. I don't really like bars. I'm just being honest. Uh, It's loud. I I'm around a bunch of people who I don't particularly like or know. Why? Why would I put myself? In that situation. Michael, (laughs) you know this about me. Mm -hmm. The listeners may not know. Um, I'm not a drinker. Uh Uh-oh. Never have, never will. Probably. Never, ever. Unless I get really, really sad. (laughs) Which is feels like it's coming. Um, But until then, until next week when I get really, really sad, um, I I don't. 
Mm-hmm. So often the bar is a very bad place for me. Yeah. The loud music is one of the worst parts. I've Be- n- Ugh. never. Why does it have to be loud? I've never understood that, like blaring, and then you're just like trying to. I, I just don't hey, even try to talk. Like, yeah. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> what are you? So what are you doing? What are you doing? I don't know how. Like, I've had pretty okay experiences with friends. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you're if you're yeah, but by yourself, I. I don't think I'd ever do that. Like, I see in movies a lot of people just do that. I'm like, I would never do that, ever. Even not pandemic. I, would. I don't know how people <laughs> fuck people in <laughs> bars. I, like, how do, How on earth? I In general, I don't know how you convince someone to have sex with you. It's very difficult for yeah. me to do it. But uh, specifically, I don't know how you do it in a loud, loud room. No clue. Because you're like, hey, so... You want to um, I don't know you. Um, what do you like? What do you like? What do you like? Do you like stuff? I like, I like the part in Star Wars. Remember the part in Star Wars where they're in the trash chute? Yeah. And then, um, and then, and then, uh, C-3PO thinks they're dying. So he's like, uh, listen to them. Do you remember that part? What? And she's like, yeah, <laughs> that part's great. And then instantly you're having sex on the floor. Yeah. In everyone's do you, watching. Do you ever get horny? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't get it either. I'm imagining that the drunkenness is what takes over. Yes. And then that people become animal selves. And then Problematic. Just start leaning in and doing yeah. it, I guess. I don't know. They just rub their genitals. I, Pardon me. I'm the Long day. last person. They just... You should ever ask about this stuff, ever. Michael, <laughs> how do people have sex? What do they do? <sighs> what do they even do? Which parts do they put in where? I think it's something lower, re- the lower area. Oh. There's something going the on. Lower depths. Yeah, I've, I haven't ventured into that ever, so I don't know. But I'm guessing it's they come together, they meet, mm-hmm. and then they... Mm-hmm. Something with yeah, they movement. grind grinding. Yeah, it's a grinding, but a pleasant grinding. No, it's bad. Oh, it's bad. Okay, it's they bad. try to get as much friction as possible so that Ew. it starts getting hot and painful. As long as there's no hot white liquids involved, I'm good. But if Hank, you are well, you are in luck. Oh, because there aren't. Oh, thank goodness. It's usually kind of a purplish black <laughs> <laughs> ooze. <laughs> <laughs> Ivan Ooze is spewing like, forth, coming out. But of we can't <laughs> only say positive things about Star Wars. Oh, but I want to. IV. Oh, do you have more? I have one last one. Okay, drop one more on me. I don't think it's. Maybe it was meant to be funny, but Probably. it's just funny to me um, that <laughs> Han and Chewie get like confronted by like it seems like twelve stormtroopers, and Han shoots one of them. And then the other 11 immediately just run away. Yes. So it's like, you have 11 guns. And then he chases after that, which is, yeah. fu- it's just funny in general. But I was like, this is, <laughs> it is funny. No and it's very absurd. Yeah. Is that the same bit where he goes around the corner and there's 50 yeah. of them? And then he's like, whoa, 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 what? Yeah. It's a cartoon. It's even a though cartoon. he chased them. Yeah. Even though he chased them. <laughs> He's chasing them. And he's oh, like, the, the guys I was following are here. Also, um, rest in peace. But Carrie Fisher, I thought was very good in this one. I was like, Carrie wow. Fisher is very good in this. Very good. I think maybe she didn't translate so much in the newer ones. I think maybe Man, things happened. They but did not do her any no. favors in the in the movies. No, <laughs> but no, they didn't. But God bless and. May the space More. force guide you home to your yes. mother's tits. I don't know. <laughs> to, to the mother's, to heaven mother's heaven tits. Heaven mother's tits. <laughs> oh, that's a good, like, if you get frustrated. Ugh, heaven mother's tits. Heaven mother's tits. <laughs> heaven mother's tits. Ooh. What's going on in here? Or a baby. Heaven mother's tits. <laughs> like, it's excited. Little baby. My stars. My stars. Looks like it's time to suck on some pitties. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. 
I'm thirsty for mother's titty milk and I want it now. <laughs> That's what I want. Yeah. Hello, my baby. Hello, <laughs> my titties. <laughs> Anyways. Hello, that... my mommy's tits. That's not copyright because we changed the words. And yes. Bumming Down added one of my favorite parts too, but I forgot about it. Um, Princess Leia says, get this walking carpet out of my way, <laughs> which is pretty good. It's so mean. But yeah. So, uh, poor Chewie. Yeah, I, I mean, it's nice to picture um, that character, mm -hmm. uh, Chewie, as like any non-white person <laughs> and, and wonder what Princess Leia would say. Yeah, oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Nope. Get this Chinese motherfucker <laughs> out of my face. This oriental and, rug <laughs> yes that's probably what she would say in 77 probably but luckily it's a it's just some sp space dog yeah it's so space. she can be like get this fucking piece of shit out of my way i'm a fucking princess yep, that's and right. i'm white and get this wretched, <laughs> wretched. fucking rug St hose this fucking thing down oh, and no. get it out of my face that's it's beautiful. Yeah, it's just, I I I have a history of being attracted to women who mistreat me. So I especially She's was like, oh, I love how mean she is. And <laughs> it's also nice that um at that uh like George Lucas didn't learn his lesson, <laughs> and in in these movies he's like, okay, um there won't be there'd be like one black guy, um but the the only people representing any other race are like aliens. Yeah. Um, and then he was like, what if there's a space Jamaican? Yeah. <laughs> and, and it's super, yeah, man, uh, I'm a space, I'm, yeah. hey, isn't it Misa. weird to be a, yeah. Misa and then he was like, love. isn't that better? Isn't it better if it's just explicitly racist yeah. rather than implicitly <laughs> racist? And yeah. everybody went, mm, is it? Uh, I don't think it is. Is it better to be just regular racist? <laughs> I think so. And th this is the rare time where it is better. <laughs> it's just better to be racist. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. Oh, nothing better than racism. Nothing better. Well, it's fun. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. Since we're doing every Star Wars movie, um, we'll get to that. No. <laughs> yes. We're doing them all. Actually, what we're doing, we're doing them all in order mm -hmm. from four <laughs> Uh, to the newest one, yes. and then starting at the beginning again. <laughs> yeah, and then taking taking a little side, uh, you know, little runs to mm -hmm. all the ones that are sideways. Yep. Oh, the I don't even want to get into it. Uh, but it's actually good we're getting into it. Things I think. Speaking of things I don't like, we're going into the low mains. Are we doing the low mains? Yes, we are here. We have arrived. Let's talk about the low main low mains of mm. the picture. Mm. I will begin. Please. <laughs> um, and I think this is the part that is not only bad about this movie, but ruins mm. everything. Yeah. <laughs> it ruins the entire series. Yes. Um, it is the episode four. Yeah. Star Wars episode four. Because the moment you go, you go, no, no, it isn't. Yeah, wait, what? This is the first movie. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine how fucking confused you must have been like, wait a minute. in 1977, and it comes up, Star Wars Episode Four. What? A New Hope. <laughs> and you go, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. What? what the fuck? I've never heard of any of these other movies. I'm going to be so good. Oh, God, I hope, all, I hope all these words are enough, because I'm so fucking confused. Yeah, wait, what? If I what came in movie? on the fourth movie, like, that, imagine, that'd be like going to see the new Matrix only. Like, yes, what's, exactly. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And I believe it is indicative of everything wrong with the rest of the movie. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Because if not for episode four... If this had just been Star Wars A New Hope, he never ever would have gone, well, I guess I better make one, two, and exactly. three. I guess I better see what's up with uh -oh. that. Yeah. And also, just so everything in episode one, two, and three works, I better add dumb shit to this one <laughs> yeah. and to the, all the other ones. Really, it's episode four and in parentheses special edition. Ugh. Because everything wrong with this movie is the stuff that wasn't originally in it. Horrifying. Why did they do Just it? Just stupid, 
stupid shit. And none of it even remotely enhances the experience. It's not no. like, oh, we'll add in, we'll make the lightsabers cooler or something, which which seems like the most obvious one. Just make them look like they do now. No, yeah. we'll leave them looking like that. <laughs> but everything yeah. we'll add is so stupid. It's uh, And the shit that they choose to do is absurd shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, Chad Ryden, this is one of his low mains, too, and one of yeah. mine. Like, yeah, all the special edition stuff. And the Job of the Hut CGI, which is oh horrifyingly bad, doesn't look it's remotely so like horrible. the puppet. And no. I was talking to John about it. I was like, what did they do for that scene? But he just said they just it's not in the movie. And I was like, yeah, the movie functions perfectly without that yes. scene. You get that he's in trouble with somebody. Yes. It doesn't matter if you find out two movies later. Like, And it's cool <laughs> yeah. when you meet Jabba later. Exactly. Because it's it's, it's been like he he has been this unspoken – like it's Force. like the third man where they talk about Jabba the whole time, and then when Jabba shows up, you're like, "Oh, this is fucking Jabba. cool! This is the scary guy that they've been talking about." Yeah, he is scary. He's the guy who's trying to kill, yeah, uh, Han Solo. But also, why is he thirteen like, percent <laughs> smaller than he is exactly. in the other movie? Smaller and a totally different color. Like he doesn't yes. look anything like himself. Fucking stupid. It would have been better if they had taken a toy, like a toy that they made in the in yes. the nineties or eighties, whatever. Yes. And then like composited it in there and stopped just, motion. Just held it really yeah. close to the camera, <laughs> exactly. in front of like a rear projection <laughs> of like Han Solo him. walking. Exactly. And like the idea of Jabba traveling around doesn't sit right with me. No. Like I like that he's like stuck in this ship, like he's this big old slug. Like unless he just get, did he just somehow gain five hundred <laughs> yeah, pounds maybe. between the two movies? Could be. <laughs> he just like had he just stress had a, eating. His his son died in a car crash, and he was like, I can't, I can't live anymore. Yeah. <laughs> no live no more. Must eat many <laughs> frog creatures. Me unhappy. Me unhappy. Um, me must get save lady. <laughs> yeah. Make her dance for me. That's awful. Toxic. Bad. Don't Very like just, it. Yeah. <laughs> Hot ladies, I hate it. Yikes. Um, <laughs> you know what I hate, really? Hot ladies wearing very little clothing. Yeah, no. It's my least favorite Unless thing. Unless they're really mean to me, then I'm all in. <laughs> then you like this? Um, I have to bring this up because this is uh, this is very specifically one thing I absolutely detested. Please do. And it was that scene, and Chad brings it up of like Han stepping on his tail or like over his tail, like when he's when Jabba's walking with him. Yes. And. As an editor, like, I'm aware of, like, masking things out and, like, how shitty that can look. And yeah. it was one of the worst I've ever seen. Like, his hair goes, like, like invisible. Like, you can see him, yeah. the outline of him. Because they just cut him and, like, lifted him up. I was like, this doesn't work. You can't do no. this. So it's no. just really shitty. Yeah. It's, it's, um really sad like yeah. it, it g genuinely makes me sad <laughs> it does me because too. i i was talking to someone about today but like the thing that really makes me sad is that at least in a legal way yeah you cannot see the originals it's insane what the like with blade runner you can see the original if you want to yeah. with apocalypse now even though coppola's made like 15 versions <laughs> you can see the original theatrical version and and if you want to see his new weird shit that he's been doing, you can do that too. But with this, it's just lost. Yeah, it's... And what really hurts me, Michael, uh -oh. this is not even Star Wars, but this is THX oh, no. 1138, no. which is just a perfect low-budget yeah, sci-fi really well movie. Done. It's the first movie, mm -hmm. and it is just wonderful. Yeah, It's like creepy... And the design is so cool, mm -hmm. and like its budget limitations are part of its charm. Yeah, like it's part of the reason that it is so spare, mm -hmm. and there's so like this horrible dystopian future where there's like nothing on your walls, yeah. <laughs> and everything is cold and antiseptic. And they they went well. We don't have enough money to make a whole bunch of shit, but it's also a dystopian future, so let's not have a bunch of shit. Yeah, and. Then he just went into a movie that only you and I care about. Yeah. And he specifically went out of his way to make us sad. Yeah, he made us sad. He went out of his way to make maybe 50 people on Earth 
sad. Yeah. <laughs> and he spent probably a few million dollars to put weird Ugh. CGI in it. Awful. And it's just it's so bad. Uh, it doesn't I hate him. Like I hate him. Yeah. Well, this this is what's tough because there's some stuff going around where people are like, even John said this, like maybe the prequels aren't bad. I think this is complete bullshit. They are horrible movies. They are there's good. nothing valuable about them. They are pieces no. of shit, and they are exactly in this vein of him doing this stuff. He lost it. I'm sorry. Also, yes. maybe he didn't have it all that much because yeah. this one compared to empire is not a great movie like this movie is not that okay i'm just gonna be honest there were times where i verbally said out loud I'm... this is not very entertaining like it's kind of boring <laughs> like sometimes some yeah. of the ship stuff is just like what? Why? what's going on <laughs> like yeah. i don't know i'm it's a classic it did a lot and like obviously is huge for a lot of people and i think it is sure. a great experience but after you've seen it a million times it's you really start to go I yes. don't know, man. Mm -hmm. But I think that was yeah. my main problem with it too. Other than other than the Lucas problem is yeah. that and I wrote this down cuz this is what I thought of. I it feels like looking at a bottle of coke for 2 hours. <laughs> cuz it's like I've seen all of it so much. Yeah. Like as a kid, I watched it a million times. Exactly. I loved loved Star Wars. Was sure. literally a card carrying Star Wars fan club <laughs> member. That's great. I loved Star Wars. But I just I mean, I think I just totally burned myself out on so, it. Yeah. Absolutely. And I can't I cannot see it with fresh eyes at all. Not because yeah. every scene is like All right. Has been played of <laughs> Yes, I've seen it. Exactly. I've seen this scene. I know everything that happens in this scene. Yeah. So it's hard for me to go like, yeah. 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 And I am jealous of people who can still do that when they watch it. Exactly. And, and this sort of feeling happens to me for many movies I've seen over and over <laughs> exactly. again. But something about this, maybe it's just the ubiquity of it because mm. everything is part of every moment. In, in the same way that like, you know, in Psycho or something, yeah. the shower scene is less... Yeah. For some reason, because it gets played yeah. all the time. Exactly. And it is just not as shocking. And, this, and so, like, how can something be as exciting as it was for you when you were a kid when it is just everywhere? Exactly, yeah. It's everywhere. Just always. You're just always seeing it, even if you don't mean to. Yeah, like, you're oh, just like, there's Star Wars. You're just, oh, there's all of Star Wars. Yeah, it's... It's a weird thing. That's a very unfortunate thing where, like, mm -hmm. it's great. Like, you, of course, want this thing you poured into and created to, like, become this big success. But then it does just, like, yeah, it's no longer yours. And it, like, it just gets trickled into all these things, especially when companies get involved and, like, oh toys and marketing, blah, 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 and, like, a million movies and movies that shouldn't be made about characters where, like, we don't need to know about this character like that's the beauty of han solo is you don't know anything about him yes. oh let's make a shitty movie about him anyways yes. i have a lot of cruel opinions about i have so many cruel opinions yeah. but why the fuck yeah. why is there a tv show yeah. about the dad <laughs> of a of a minor character <laughs> what i don't know why is it isn't it is, is it his dad is it uncle what who I, why? <laughs> Why? Yeah. What? what? Why? Why? What's happening? It's, uh, and uh, this is yeah. not even Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope's fault necessarily. Though I still do maintain that the Episode Four part is is like the root cause of all of the bad. Yeah. Because <laughs> then he was then he was like, well, they're they're gonna be in a one and a two and a three and a seven and a nineteen. And, a 19. and then everybody else was like, oh yeah, this is a, hey, this is a great idea. Uh, you maybe had some kind of childish excitement about trying to expand the story, but we're crass <laughs> evil people and we want to really milk, yeah, milk every it. little. We're gonna milk it until the milk doesn't even come out of this. Yeah. Just blood Dry shooting out of blood. the tit. Yeah. Just disgusting that's purple blood clot blood just shooting yeah. into their and they just keep wanting it yeah, yeah. shoot the blood on me <laughs> and it's it's sick it's, it literally it's sick it does me. start to make you sick, <laughs> it, sick and it sucks because you want to be happy for people it's like i'm yes. glad you're enjoying this but like 
if something is just immediately good by merit of it just being a Star Wars, like that's when it sucks because you've just taken away any any effort yeah. that's needed or like any you don't have to earn anything. It's like no, it's a Star Wars. It's it's like you are murdering art. <laughs> like I'm yes. sorry, like it does suck because there is an art to these and they are beautiful, like yeah. practical. So you're like this so is so beautiful. good. But yeah, it does. It sucks. And then like. It's just like, what does it even mean at that point? Of like, you've seen a million of them. It's like, ooh, someone mentioned this character once in a scene. Now we can learn all about. It's like, what? it's just empty at that point. Like, yes, you're just literally pulling shit out of your ass. Like, oh, and now there's a group of stormtroopers called the Bad Batch, and they were bad. It's like, who? What? <laughs> it just like gets so insane. And I feel yeah. bad because I don't want to be this curmudgeonly like I hate Marvel movies. I hate Star mm-hmm. Wars movies. It's just like. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's just like, aren't you sick of it? Aren't you exhausted? <laughs> it's just like I don't, I don't know. I mean, I don't even mind yeah. many of them. It's like all of them are kind of yeah. pretty average commodity movies. Yeah, very much. Um oh, another weird part of it that I don't understand is that like the like the last Jedi mm-hmm. discourse oh. is so fucking strange. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> it, it is like one of the most weirdly divisive <laughs> things like i know so many people who think it's just a horrible piece of shit (laughs) but if like you like you will just like scroll twitter Mm -hmm. and see people saying like if you don't like the last jedi you're a homophobe (laughs) which is some like weird shit like what 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 the fuck do you mean Oh, and I, I is lo- this a gay? This isn't even a gay movie. It's not. There's, there's, n- there's one lady who's got purple hair. That's not fucking gay. That's just a lady with purple hair. What the fuck? You're just like making shit up. Also, we have to address this. We kind of have addressed it before, but like the f- trap of like Hollywood movies being progressive. It's like, oh yes, they are using you. <laughs> they are yes. putting things you like because yes. they want money. Like the yes. the stupid like sassy. I'm a bad lady robot in Han Solo. I was like, this oh is so God. pandering and just insulting. Yes. Like you just literally, I, it's just insane. And people take that and go, oh, how cool. It's like, this is, it's a joke. They're making fun of you. <laughs> like, I'm yes. sorry. Anyways, so yes. whatever. They, is, yeah. they think <laughs> that you are so stupid <laughs> that you will love if, Hey, um, uh, Princess Leia is uh, non-binary. She's got a Hawaiian shirt now. <laughs> you like that? And and people go, yeah, we fucking love it. I don't know. We have to, right? Yeah. We would get in trouble if we didn't love it, so we do love it. Yeah. And then, rather than just like, what if you made a new fucking character and that new fucking character was, I don't know, fucking non-binary? That's fine. That's, yeah. I mean, it's still stupid because you don't want new character. You don't want any more Star Wars. We don't need it. It's so, but, yeah. But if you happen to make a news story that was interesting and there was a non baronet character, that sounds great. But it's it, even then, you would know that secretly they were just like, we can really sell some gay shit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> we can make more bucks. Or, and we can, uh, there's a rainbow Star Wars uh, shirt. Exactly. Uh, or like, and then, you see the board meeting where they're just like literally checking off, okay, we got a Chinese person, we got a black person. Like, yes. I, it just, it's just so blaringly. Obvious. Yes. I just it it makes yes. me sick. I'm like, I mean, great, cool. I'm glad they're getting those opportunities, but yeah. you have to also still see like the broader thing here. Hey, whatever, yes. whatever. We're not here to break your fantasy of your precious little space <laughs> movie. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how many people watching to or listening to us are um that nerdy about. Yeah, it, right. I don't. Maybe know. they are. Well, Chad Ryden says. Um, yeah. The chosen one thing was so weird. A dozen Jedi were sitting around talking about some chosen one bringing balance to the Force. Well, they're exactly two Sith, so how did they not understand that balance would mean uh, meant all of them were going to die? Kenobi and Yoda being the only survivors was balanced with Vader and the Emperor, and that is a really good point. So, wow, that's a deep dive that I hadn't thought about, and that's pretty true yeah. <laughs> yeah it was pretty unbalanced <laughs> there's, yeah, it's really there's unbalanced. two bad guys and there's 50 million <laughs> maybe they're just really shitty jedi is yeah. the problem i think they're they like, were yeah <laughs> i mean they're all dead so yeah they weren't that good hey uh mace windu <laughs> get out of here yeah <laughs> purple lightsaber shock you out of a window you fucking 
jackass. No. <laughs> yeah, fucking jackass. Um, I, do you think I like to picture a meeting? <laughs> so they're having their meeting where they're checking boxes off. Yes. And then like people are trying out different ideas, uh -huh. and and they have like a they have a single black person in the room <laughs> of all old white yes. guys, and there's like a white guy, and he's like, um, I have an idea. Uh, could we do like a, you know, you know how the, like the Black Lives Matter thing is really big with, uh, I don't know, uh, black people. Yeah. Um, what if we did like a Chewbacca Lives Matter oh, thing? Oh, yeah. And the black guy goes, mm, I don't. I don't think that's cool. I don't, <laughs> yeah. I don't think that's cool. Okay. Um, 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 could we just do like a rainbow? Yeah. You, I've heard that rainbows are big and it just says Star Wars and a rainbow. And he's like, hey. Yeah, that be that's okay. Sure, that's fine. I don't. Yeah, I, guess. I guess. Yeah, and then he he gets paid one million dollars. Yes, that's the <laughs> way. Go, it works. Uh, Here you are, sir. And he goes, well, I uh, it's worth it. I guess. <laughs> I've sold my soul. I don't have a soul anymore. I have to go to hell forever. But I got one Classic. one million dollars. So I feel. It's okay. I mean, they'll be along with all the the people who made all the like Rogue One and Han Solo yes. movie. Yes. People like Rogue One. I don't really care. I think it's awful. I don't <laughs> enjoy it in any way. And my low main of that movie is a completely CG video game graphics man who is dead, oh. by the way. And they brought him back to life. And I remember sitting in the theater and some guy next to me goes, wow, that looks so good. Which no, it means it doesn't because you are pointing out that it is CG. Yes. <laughs> so whatever. Anyways... Practice and forever. A, a follow up <laughs> yeah. with circling back to a a year of this picture. <laughs> Peter Cushing kicks ass in this he's movie. He's great. He's like the perfect look. He's evil he's, looking. He's very evil looking. <laughs> he's thin. His cheeks are like stuck oh, in. Yeah. And he's got this cool like no collar kind of jacket thing. Yeah. Nazi looking stuff. <laughs> He just looks badass so and scary cool. as fuck, and he's so kind of cool yeah. and cold. And, like, he's just a normal dude, but he gets the big chair, and Vader has to just stand beside him. You're like, whoa, okay. Yeah. yeah. I also forgot that he just blows up. Like, he's just dead. Yes. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> yep. He's dead. That's it. Bye-bye. He's, bye. Like, he's like, I'm not getting off this ship. <laughs> yeah. This ship is fucking badass. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm not leaving. And he's like, "Are you sure, sir? Because if you don't mind, I'd like to yeah, can get I? in the escape pod." <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, if you want to, but actually, this is an impenetrable; it can't be stopped. So this is a great ship. Yeah, and there's no way to there's no way to explode it. There's so. no way. We, we I've just studied all the, and there's no way to do it. Okay, well, I'm just if you don't mind, I'm gonna just hit the uh, hit the road. Yeah, uh, hit the old you. dusty trail and get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <gasps> That's great. <laughs> they they need to make a Star Wars Star Wars uh side uh show. Yes. Where it is just the final 30 seconds Ooh. of um what is his name? Uh of Grand Moff Tarkin. Yes. And you just you see that final 30 seconds stretched over in, into an entire season of a Disney yeah. Plus TV show. <laughs> And and what it is is as he's burning alive, they start with every episode. He's like, ah! and then he cuts back. They to his zoom childhood. through his eyeballs. Yes, <laughs> they zoom through his eyeballs. Oh my god! And they and they zoom in, and they zoom back out, and he's a child, and he's in like a garden, and they're doing some Proust shit where he's thinking about his past. Yeah. And as he's dying. He sees his entire life. Mm -hmm. So we get to learn about Grand Moff Tarkin. And he was a good kid. He was. And how did he end up? A bad guy in the Empire? Well, uh, he had a he had a young lover and he was gay. He he had a gay lover. Uh, but the, the gay lover was a, a member of the he was a rebel. And so um and he was spurned, spurned. by his gay rebel lover. Yeah. And so he was forced to become a stormtrooper and he worked his Whoa. way up and then uh cut uh cut to, to the end of the first season <gasps> and then <laughs> from spurn to burn <laughs> yes and then there's two or three seasons yeah three of just him seasons. seeing an entire his entire past <laughs> and you know what the saddest thing about mm -hmm. that is is they will absolutely do something like that. Oh, sure. It's going to happen soon. Well, I love, too, that they have to 
they have to make there has to be a motivation why someone would be evil or why someone yeah. would, it's like for characters like that no he just joined the military he's yeah. a, he knows what he's doing he doesn't and the military think he's indoctrinates evil. you yeah and and he grew up a part of the empire so that's what he believes exactly. like he is he lives in israel so he believes that palestinian people are evil yeah and that's it that's it there's no backstory yeah. <laughs> He just grew up from a time he was a little boy thinking that the rebel was evil. Yeah. And so he has to shoot missiles at exactly. them and kill them. That's just the thing he believes. That's it. And you know what What else <clears throat> someone believes? Yeah. Our final low main from oh, okay. the Kill Donkeys. Um, Bow and Bumming Down says, I always thought it was a little weird that um, all, the Darth, the, all that Darth Vader had to actually Wait, sorry, I've read this wrong. Darth Vader had to get into a jet and like try to like fight the rebels instead of like yeah. using the force. I'm just paraphrasing here because oh, like yeah. later like Luke can do shit like move the plane and stuff. Yeah, so it is very weird. And I have to say that whole segment, it just doesn't really. I don't know. I know it's a famous like trust the force. You're yeah, in a yeah. Ship. It just isn't as cool. Boss. Like I'm using the force to shoot. A thing in a ship like it just doesn't feel as cool as like uh, the jedi stuff which yeah i said to john earlier like i'm in it for the jedi stuff this is again why i don't like stuff like rogue one i don't care about the the rebels are forming the blah 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 the alliance i don't give a shit about you want that. space magic yeah i just want space magic that's it i <laughs> i don't mind the darth vader flying around stuff just because it kind of seems like maybe they hadn't entirely understood what the force was yeah, yet, maybe. And they were just starting to go, oh, maybe the force is cool <laughs> yeah. by the end. <laughs> and then they're like, oh, we should do this in other movies. Yeah. Um, but I like, I kind of like the fact that he is um, like, a, he's got a can do attitude. Yeah. He's just like, he's not like, hey, get out there and kill. He's like, I'm going to go out and do that because I'm the best pilot. Yeah. I'm the best. I, I'm the best at everything. I'm the best. <laughs> And I'm cool, evil dude. So I'm gonna get in my special X-wing fighter, yes. and I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna turn the thing. He's always turning yeah. the thing. I don't know what he's turning, but Me he's either. turning something on that thing, <laughs> and he shoots almost everybody. Yeah, he's pretty good at it. I like that. Which is, yeah, it was a pretty good, good thing because he is good. He 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 says in his past he was a good starfighter. So that oh. is they brought it back. Great. Okay. They, <laughs> they did bring they it, back. Did it back. Um, if you want to bring it back, um, follow us on Twitter at Food Court Cast. Head over to Instagram to Food Court Movie mm -hmm. Podcast. Um, if you're listening or watching on your favorite app, uh, go ahead and give us a review. Please make a comment. Give us five stars. Whichever version of that <laughs> thing you do on whatever app you're on, do it. Um, tell a friend. As always. Tell a friend, Please. maybe if, if it's a Star Wars fan, maybe don't tell them about this one because <laughs> yeah. we spent maybe 45 minutes talking Shitting shit about yeah. Star Wars. But maybe he'll be one of the Star Wars fans who has a good sense of humor and likes to have fun. Or she. Yes. I don't. Are there female Star Wars fans? I bet there are. Um, mm. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, that's, I mean, I think that is sexist to assume that only uh, dudes are kind of like dumb nerds. There are plenty of women yeah, who are dumb many. nerds, too. That's beautiful. <laughs> um, and while you're on the internet, mm -hmm. head over to the Twitter, at, to at Food Court Cast, and participate in Ooh, our poll. Oh, please. It should be up. If you're watching soon, if you're listening, it will be up as you listen. Um, and the options for the poll this week week Ooh. will be a choice by Michael, mm -hmm. a ghost story. Yes, it's kind of spooky. It's very sad. Yeah, I never saw it. So, and I I picked other ghost shit <laughs> and some other movie, Annabelle Creation. Oh yes, this is a Michael and Sean oh, favorite. favorite. We love Annabelle so Creation. Good. Poltergeist, <gasps> another oh, ghost one, geist. which we love. Classic. And a new movie by Alexander Aha, who did Crawl and the uh, Hills Have Eyes remake, called Oxygen. Ooh. I don't know if it's about ghosts. I'm not watching the fucking trailer. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck it's I about. I've not seen it, but I've heard it's scary, <laughs> and I love Crawl so yeah, much. That was a surprise movie. I fucking love Crawl, so I'm all in on Oxygen, <laughs> whatever it is. So, but if you don't give a shit about Oxygen and you'd rather watch some other movie, head over to the poll mm -hmm. and vote for whichever one Please. is your favorite, and you. 
shall decide our fate. Yes. Yes, Skywalker. <laughs> Strike me down with all your fate. <laughs> <laughs> um, on <laughs> of John, who's not here, mm -hmm. and Michael, who is, is here, <laughs> technically, yeah. who's not in the same physical space as me, no. but is in the same um, mental time space. Continue, yes. <laughs> who's sick in the head, just like yeah. me. And uh, from me, Sean Parrott, may I say, bone appetite. May the bone be appetite with you, whatever. <laughs>